Hey, what's going on, No Nation? CJ Wilson here with Dope Talk. I am your host. It's that time of year again. Football is in the air. Fall camp is around the corner. As you guys know, we're in the midst of our um, positional breakdowns leading to fall camp. We did the same thing for each position going into the spring football. Now we're going to kind of recap spring and the summer workouts and put everything together so we can so I can paint a picture for you guys rather for uh, fall camp. We dropped a quarterback video a few days ago. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you guys go um, – peep that video and just get an overview of what we look like as a quarterback room going into the 2024 season. Now the running backs is up. In my opinion, this running back room is probably the best room on the offensive side of the ball. It's a debate out of the running backs in the uh, offensive line. Very good debate, I guess. A uh, good problem to have rather, but it's one of the best positions we do have on the football team overall within the running back room. A lot of talent, a lot of production, a lot of experience within that running back room. For the first one, we're going to start off with the veteran in the group, the leader of the group, Lawrence Toa Philly. You guys remember Lawrence Toa Philly? He was um, big time for FSU last year and also you know, leading into the ACC championship game, winning the MVP of the ACC championship game. We had to do a lot of variations of the Wildcats and things like that just to kind of compensate being down the uh, first string quarterback in Jordan Travis and the second string quarterback in Tate Rodemaker. As you guys remember, that was the first start for true freshman quarterback at the time, Brock Glenn. So we had to, you know, get creative in regards to, um, you know, moving the ball against some offense. And Lawrence Toy Philly answered the bell. But not to harp on last season, we're talking about now and where we have currently with Lawrence Toy Philly. Uh, excellent spring practice. Mike Novell stated that Lawrence Toy Philly was playing the best ball of his career. Yeah, you heard me right. He was playing the best ball of his career, and that's saying a lot for a guy, um, you know, like I said, of Lawrence Torfield, who's been around the program a lot and has played some very good ball for FSU. He's bolted up over 15 – excuse me, he's gained over 15 pounds um, during this offseason, muscle mass and things like that, and he's also keeping his explosiveness and speed as well. He's the leader of the running back room. You guys look at some videos and things like that as far as practice and just – clips around the program, you can see the leadership and the maturity that Lawrence Toy Philly carries um, off the field and just leading that group. I think he's going to be primed for a big time, a big time year this year. In my opinion, um, I guess I'm kind of going to go out on the limb a little bit. I think he's going to be the MVP of the offense for this upcoming season. He can do it all. He can do it all. Jack of all trades, running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield, match, excuse me, matchup problems and things like that for um, linebackers that, that, that can't keep up with him as far as covering. He ran very good routes. If you guys remember in 2022, FSU featured Lawrence Toy Philly a lot in the passing game. Uh, matchups on linebackers, wheel routes, and things like that. We kind of went away from that in 2023 when we had so many offensive weapons um, to throw the ball to Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman, Jaheen Bell, just to name a few. Uh, so I think we're kind of we're going to get back to that, in my opinion, for the 2024 year as far as creating those matchups and getting Lawrence to a Philly, the ball in space and pat in the passing game as well. Just using maximizing everything that Lawrence to a Philly brings to the table. Right. So I think it's going to be a really big year for him. I think he's going to have over 1000 all purpose yards uh, this upcoming year. So in my opinion, Lawrence to a Philly is he's the leader of the running back room without a doubt. But in my opinion, I think he's going to be the MVP of the offense this upcoming season. Roydell Williams, a transfer running back to FSU, got out of the portal from Alabama with over 1,000 yards and 13 career touchdowns. Patience, patience, patience. That's what you need to know about uh, Roydell, Roydell Williams, a very patient runner, lets his blocks develop, reads the holes very well, and, and once that once the hole opens, he's exploding through the hole and making a big play. If you watch some of his highlights at Alabama, is <laughs> patience and letting the blocks develop, being precise in his cuts and once it's open he hits the hole and he goes running i love his game what he brings to the table and it also fits fsu perfectly in what we want to do fsu does a lot of variation of counters and pulling in power you're pulling your guards pulling your tackles your center even so it's a lot of movement within the offensive line and with that movement creates i'm not going to say create uh with with that movement you need Patience within the running back to let the blocks develop. That's something that we kind of struggled with last year with Trey Benson. Trey Benson wasn't really that type of back to let think let the holes develop. He was more so, you know, hit the hole and get missing. That type of guy wasn't really patient. Rodell Williams fits that perfectly. If you guys go back two years ago to 2022, 
Treshawn Ward, for example, he was a, he was very good back as far as letting the holes develop, reading holes, and being patient for the blocks, letting them come. I think Roy Dell could be an upgrade to a Treshawn Ward. More speed, in my opinion, and more physical than Treshawn Ward. So you factor all of those things into you know being a good back in the skill set of a Roy Dell Williams, and you factor that into what FSU wants to do as a offense, what Mike Norvell wants to do as an offense. The blocking schemes with Coach Alex Atkins, I feel like it was a match made in heaven for FSU, and I think Roydell is going to benefit. Roydell and FSU rather is going to benefit for this one-year marriage in regards to coming over from Alabama. I think it's going to be a very good one-two combo within Roydell and Lois Tor Philly as the top two backs. Kasaya Holmes, and they, oh, this is going back to Roydell. If you guys watched the spring game and saw that long touchdown run he had, like for fifty or so yards, it's exactly what I'm telling you guys right now. He was patient in the hole. Let the blocks develop, and as soon as you, you know you blink your eye, boom, he was gone down the sideline for the touchdown. So you saw it firsthand in the spring game. I think you're going to see a lot more this upcoming season for sure. Kasaya Holmes, another running back who should uh, see some carries for FSU. If you guys look at the spring game, he was a, a workhorse and, and a load to bring down, real physical guy. I think he ended up running uh, Shaheen Brown over, if I'm not mistaken, to score a touchdown. I think he's going to be FSU's big physical back. He also has a lot of speed, too. That's very underrated, but that's probably, you know, 220 plus running back that could get those tough yards to move the chains. I think Kasiah Holmes um, showed his worth in the spring practice as far as fitting in. And he's going to be a guy that's going to get carries as well. As you guys know, Mike Norvell, he loves to use a bunch of running backs uh, going back to his Memphis days and throughout his career at FSU. You know, it's multiple guys that's going to touch the football for FSU. So I think um, – Kasaya Holmes has a role for FSU and he's going to get some very important carries for us this upcoming season. Like I said, we got to have healthy bodies and have a big bruising back that can, you know, wear down a defense and get those extra yards after contact. Kasaya Holmes is your guy. I want to get into some of the younger guys who may not play as much as these three, but again, they will probably have a role with FSU this upcoming year and they're going to be the future for FSU. Sam Singleton, four star running back out of the Jacksonville, Florida area. Was a red shirt freshman last year, but you know, red shirts, you red shirt freshman rather, you get four games that you can play in the season to preserve your red shirt. And we saw Sam Singleton in a few games. They looked explosive in a few games last year. Carried it over to the spring practice, ended up bulking up some. He has the long speed. He was a, a, a track guy, I think it was 10, 6, and 100 meters, if I'm not mistaken. So he bulked up to go along with that speed. He had a pretty good spring as well. He is a guy that could get some carries in, in, you know, limited in the limited capacity, but he's a guy to pretty to be excited for moving forward. Cam Davis, everybody knows this name, right? Uh, one of the bell cows in the 2024 recruiting class for FSU, one of the best running back uh, prospects in the country. If you look at Cam, he looks like a fifth year senior right off the bat. He's a true freshman, uh, big kid, uh, very strong, uh, runs very well, too physical, has a lot more speed than people give him credit for. Cam did play quarterback throughout his career in high school, so the transition to running back may take a little bit of time. I think Cam is going to be a dynamic playmaker for FSU. Uh, a couple of spring practices I went to made uh, a few big plays in the run game and things like that. I think once he gets more acclimated with the playbook and, you know, more experience rather to speed the game, that type of deal, Cam Davis is going to be a big-time player for FSU in the years to come. Makai Dansley, the, under, the other running back within the 2024 cycle. Speed, 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 and more speed. Makai Dansley is an all-world track guy, sprinter. Uh, I think he was second last year in, the, in nationally in the 400 meters. Ended up winning state championship in the 100, the 200, and the 400 this past year. And the year before, ended up winning the 200 and 400. I mean, he's an all-world track guy running a 45 in the 400. He could do it all. Long speed, coming from Tallahassee, Florida, Florida high to be exact. If you look at his tape, once he gets in the open field, it's a wrap. And I do think, of course, I'm not sure it'll be this year, but in the future, it's an offense built for playmakers, right? That's Mike Norvell's motto when it comes to the offense. I don't think it'd be any different with Makai once he gets the ball in his hands and get the ball in space, rather. Because once he sees open grass, it's going to be a wrap. I think him and Cam Davis was the perfect combination for the 2024 cycle as far as, you know, bruising running back and the speed running back that can score at any point in time. So the FSU running back room is looking pretty strong. It's going to be one of the better position groups on the field this upcoming year. And I expect a lot of big things from that running back room led by Lawrence to Philly. Again, make sure you guys tap in with Dope Talk. We have more of these videos coming before fall camp starts. 
like this video and subscribe to the channel. Go Gnomes.